Hey friends, Brad Matlack here. I attend KVC Church and uh, I guess it's my turn to share a couple thoughts about what I've been up to in these days of COVID-19 coronavirus. Um, normally, uh, or most Sundays, you might find me uh, part of the worship team playing drums and I can say I do miss doing that. I do miss being part of uh, corporate worship and just miss playing drums in general. But you might think, well, this is a strange way to do an intro with my drumsticks and my practice pad here. But um, I just wanted to share a little bit of what I've been up to um, in, in amongst this, uh, in, the, in this season. And uh, one of the things, uh, for sure, we're, we're keeping busy. There's a lot of ministry going on here at Tazamania. Um, it's keeping us very busy every day. Um, and uh, we're still involved in our center, just in a different dynamic. We're kind of in relief mode here. But one of the other things that I wanted to really focus on today, and that's part of the reason why um, I've started out my video with my practice pad, is because in this season of us musicians not getting gigs or not playing in worship and whatever else, um, I decided to do something in this season, uh, which is going back to the rudiments of playing drums. So here I am with my, with my practice pad, with my drumsticks, um, with my notebook here, with some music and rudiments here. And I just want to tell you a little bit about what rudiments are. What rudiments in drums are going back just to the very basics of um, getting chops, as we say, in, uh, in playing drums. But basically it's um, going back just to practicing on a pad, working on strength in our hands, working on speed, working on uh, essentially what our goal is, is to, is to sound good, uh, to be able to play drums well. Um, and it requires us to go back and do rudiments. Now, I'll be honest with you, I, uh, over the years, have not been faithful to rudiments, going back to the basics of playing drums. I'd much rather just be, get behind a drum set uh, with other musicians and just play rock and roll and just uh, have a good time. But what I'm realizing in this time, in this season that we're, uh, a lot of us are apart or we're having to really sort of think about simpler things, as it's taken me back also that uh, to, to the rudiments and to the rudiments of life. Uh, so the rudiments of music, the rudiments of drums have reminded me also of the essential times for us to go back to the basic things, to think about, well, what are the basic things? What are the things that I need to focus on? So uh, with the fact that I love Jesus as well, and that's part of my, uh, it's a big part of my life. Uh, it's the center of my life. Um, it also has forced me to go back to think about, well, what are the rudiments of, of my Christian walk or what are the rudiments of being a Christian? Um, and so, obviously, we go back to Scripture as well. This is my other manual here as well. This is our Bible. We go back to Scripture and we think about, well, what is important? Uh, or what, what was the life of Jesus? What were the things, the rudimentary things that Jesus taught his disciples and eventually what are the rudimentary things that we can look at as believers to focus on on what it means to follow Jesus. And a lot of that has to do with uh, just love, with the kingdom of God, with uh, being uh, on, a, on mission, with walking towards the cross, uh, with focusing on the life of Jesus as uh, making disciples, uh, those are the things that he called us to do, to, to love our neighbors. And so that's a big part of my life. That's what I uh, try to focus my life on as well. Um, but, uh, you know, Jesus actually didn't tell us go and plant churches. Um, and so that's, I've been focusing on that as well recently because uh, the fact is we're not going to church. We're not going to KVC every Sunday. Um, we're able to do some things online, but we're not able to meet in our normal way. And so I've thought, been thinking through that as well recently, thinking about, well, what are the rudimentary things of church? What are, what are the things that Jesus sort of instilled in his disciples? Um, and there are a couple of things. I've, I have another book here that has helped me, uh, The Forgotten Ways here also. Um, and it's just a good missional book, helped me think through on, on some of these. It's a book I've read years ago, but I've gone back to it again, just reflecting on some of it. Um, and some of the things that I think Jesus has called us to as the church are this community of togetherness. Um, and yeah, these days we're not able to be together, but uh, 
nevertheless, there is community somewhere. Um, there, are, there is ways for us to connect through, through our phones, through uh, maybe at a, in a distance, uh, social distancing sort of way. There are ways for us to be able to, to be together, to encourage one another. Um, this video is one of the ways that we, that we can do that, do, doing videos such as these, as we have been, as, as our, our body has been doing together. Um, the second one is really reading of scripture. And to me, that's a, very much of a rudimentary thing. It's going back to scripture, going back to, um, you know, in drumming, going back to rudimentary things like this, taking a book and actually going through the exercises of that. Um, and with, with our Bible, it's not just an exercise, but it's, it's a way, it's, it's where we get fed, where we get our food, where, where we listen to what God is trying to tell us as well. But it's a rudimentary practice for us as Christians to go back to Scripture. And I think in the busyness of life, uh, at times we forget to do that. Um, that's something that this season has really encouraged me uh, to dive deeper into as well, is thinking about the life of Jesus. The other part is for us really to be on mission. Um, what is your mission in your life? We all need to be together on mission as a church, as the body of Christ. But particularly since we are not meeting together, I've had to reflect a lot on as well as personal. What are my personal missions? What do I need, what do I need to focus on today or as a family? What is the mission of our family? What is, how am I leading us as a family? Um, and so trying to be together on that. It's really, the mission is what really binds us together. It's what holds us together as the church, as believers. And if we don't do that, even as KVC, if we don't really have a mission uh, that's together, then um, we'll get very distracted on what our purpose is. We won't really find our purpose. The other part is worship and prayer. And uh, I think in this season, I think we've been praying a lot. <laughs> I think many people have. Um, in times of, of uh, discomfort or suffering or in times of um, anxiety and all, uh, I think many of us turn to God, turn to prayer and ask God to help us. We're seeing that a lot, particularly with Tazamania in these days where people are not eating or there's no food in the house. Um, people seem to be desperately turning back to God and asking him for help. Um, it's one of the ways I think that God, uh, through history and time, has called people back to himself. He allows these things to happen to remind us of who he is and to remind us of his goodness as well. So we're seeing some of that. When it talks about worship, when it's, I say about worship and prayer as well, I don't think this worship necessarily means, uh, you know, playing drums or being part of worship or singing on a Sunday. I think worship, that, that's a piece of it, but worship in general is just how, uh, how do we live our lives before the throne of God? How do we worship Him? How do we proclaim that He is our Lord and Savior? And so worship can look um, in a number of different ways. Uh, it's, it's not necessarily corporately singing. So even in this season, the rudimentary things of worship should be that we ourselves are still worshiping God, our Savior. We don't have to be together in order for us to do that individually. Um, and then the last uh, piece, the, the last focus that I would think through on that I've been considering these days are also character development. And I would say, man, uh, you know, one of the ways that I've heard people talking about uh, character is how do you behave when you're alone? Who are you when you're isolated and when you're alone, when other people aren't watching? And this season for sure uh, that has forced us to be alone or to be isolated um, should be testing our character. Um, I can say for sure, um, recently my character has been tested, um, particularly as a family and having to be around uh, uh, my wife and, and my, my kid uh, day in and day out, almost 24-7. Um, that tests character as well. Nothing against them, it's about me. I realize, man, I, I, can, I can really be a pain to be around and to live with all the time. But it forces me to think about who am I? Um, and so it forces me to go back to the rudimentary things of life, the rudimentary things to think about, man, what are, what are the foundational things that I need to lean on? And so even in our spiritual walk, I, I would encourage all of you to think and ponder on those things. What are the basic things that we need? So even as we are not meeting together as a congregation, um, we should not be skipping a beat uh, as far as who we are as believers and as far as who we are and how we love Jesus. That these things that I described, these five areas, um, 
should not uh, define or the lack of being able to do that should not define who we are as followers of Jesus. The fact that we can't be together as a body um, should not define uh, my Christian walk. And so the rudimentary things, going back to the basic things, um, even having fun with it. Um, and I'll tell you, for me, going back to the my practice pad and the drumsticks, going through and reading these things has been really fun and enjoyable for me. So even going back to thinking about Jesus, the basic things about the life of Jesus has been really fun and I've enjoyed doing that. So I just want to keep encouraging you, KVC, uh, to stick it out, stick in there, um, keep uh, pursuing what it means to follow Jesus. Don't just wait and be a consumer when uh, the doors to our church building opens up again. Don't wait to go and just consume. But these are the days when we should be practicing who we are as believers and be participants in the life of following Jesus. So thanks, friends. Take care.